everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And I thought that we were free today. I thought, oh my God, she didn't go live today. Okay, great, love that for us. I can go play Pal World, which has been amazing, but no. I am here, hello. I mean, I don't have to cover it, but like, you know, why not? So with that being said, like I usually do, I'm going to be skipping around a bunch because these have been notoriously not super entertaining. So you're welcome, but. <laughs> but with that being said, let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? And before I forget, on Twitter, I did see where she showed us a picture of her in a wheelchair, which I don't know if it's more of like, oh my gosh, guys, poor me, or like, hey, 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 I'm giving you guys exactly what you guys want. You guys are going to eat it up. Probably both. Probably both. Let's all be honest. Are you uploading my more mukbangs? Susu, I cannot upload anything that requires me to sit for a long period of time. That was my booty. Uh, I'm going to update you guys with my health here. Um, I'm not very tired because I we both had a, a nap and um, just been like, you know, one of those days where the sleep schedule is all messed up, but we're okay. I mean, if you guys have been following me for a long time, um, hold on, I got to fix something with the alert. Be right back. Okay. Okay. So health updates, I guess. Um, I went to the clinic. It's the weekend also, by the way, guys, like the weekends in Kuwait, they technically start like... People kind of start on Thursdays, Thursday evenings. It's, you know, kind of the Friday here, you know, of the work world. So it's pretty busy at nights. Um, people stay up late on the weekends. You know, there's, you know, there's no reason for me to go to bed early. <laughs> you know, even if they're well, like, I can just pretty much stay up. Oh my God. That reminds me. Nothing to do with anything being said, but um, <laughs> I, I went out of town here recently, um, like earlier this week. And, and I was supposed to wake up like around when I was supposed to go to bed usually. And it went exactly how you would think it went awful. I got like 30 minutes of rest. I was going on fumes, and by the end of the day, I'm like, that felt like an entire fever dream. What just happened? <laughs> Had a lot of fun, though, but I, I hate going to bed early. Any as late as I want, and I, I'm... By the way, the time in question was 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> always, I've always been a night owl, you know? Yeah, and the weekend is um, Friday and Saturday. Sunday is a weekday here, so... Okay, I have a picture to share with you. So I went to the clinic, back to the clinic, to the doctor today. It was uh, pretty interesting. Um, usually when I go to the clinic, it's very uneventful. Um, do you feel more comfortable talking with the camera off? I feel more comfortable in the sense that I don't have to show, like, I I'm in my bedroom. So I do not like to show my private space, like my bedroom. I only like to film in the living room or the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'm, I, I'm not here for this. Like, I feel like it's private. Like, be private all you want, girly, but just... You keep, this is like the third day in a row that we've been like, it's my private space. I don't want to have like weird clothes. I don't want to get ready. I don't want to sell. Okay, great. We've heard about this before. Come on. Girl, now these haters are out there suggesting that you can't show yourself because your hubby is physically mistreating you. Good Lord with their insanity theories. All right. Um, and then they say, I don't know if you've said it yet, but you might have to actually explain to these people with zero common sense that you are not feeling well. Therefore, you're obviously not going to get up and put your hijab thing on and that no, you don't sleep in it. Like they really, really can't just think any bit of common sense. LOL. I swear they are thirsty today. Okay. So by that logic, so if you're going to apply that logic to me, the, the, the streamers who apply that logic to me or whoever, why are you not applying that same flawed logic, by the way, to yourselves? Because so many, I would say a, either half or the majority of streamers or content creators or whatever, don't cam up. So does that mean that you're being abused and your partner is, is abusing you? Is that why you're not camming up? Like, that's just, to me, that's, apply the same logic to yourself in that sense, okay? So no. <laughs> um, just to answer that, 100% no. Um, the only reason is, again, because I'm in my bedroom, I'm comfortable with no hijab, and I don't, I can't just turn on my kit. Like, if it was me, like, a year and a half ago when I wasn't Muslim, yeah, sure, I was in my bed from the llama in a bra, I didn't care. But now, I can't do that. So <laughs> I'm finding an alternative way to give you content for the time being. It's not forever. It's just until I can, you know, oh! get out of bed i'm pretty much bed bound at this point reactors not showing themselves for years and you do it for a few days and people lose their mind i know hi hissy fist born villain exactly no he would not harm he would not harm me no he he has never never laid a finger on me ever so i mean that's good to know i guess because i feel like if there was anything going on or anything that had happened to like that degree she wouldn't have went back because she had every out pretty much like she didn't have to go back to him but she did so I feel like if there was anything, you know, physical going on, uh, we would have heard all about it whenever they broke up for like half an hour. But that was not the case. You know, um, yeah, people like to do that, you know, comparing some text messages with real life and no. <laughs> Which I mean also does not negate the fact that he was talking to another woman behind your back. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture of me at the clinic being miserable. Just give me a sec here. Happy, happy, happy. Here I am. Okay, I am. I'm going to make it bigger. I was, I don't want to. I'm just gonna, yeah, so. And there she is. And um, my main question is if you're this miserable and you're not feeling that great and you're not 
uh, like whatever the case might be, why is he taking a photo of you with his phone? Because she obviously has her phone in her hand. He has an iPhone. She has the S22 Ultra because she downgraded whenever she got to Kuwait. Unless she asked, but it's like, I don't know. There's a lot of questions and I will never get any of the answers to them. <laughs> By the way, I did a weigh-in today and I have a whole uh, vlog coming out after my live stream sometime. I just have to finish editing. Um, I look like I'm like passing gas or something. I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah, because um, is the clinic in a castle? <laughs> I know the decoration. Which I also was wondering about that. And I also would love to live in a castle. That's like one of my dreams. I don't know, just like live in the castle. And as long as it has internet, I'm good. It could be my magic. I don't care as long as I have internet and power. I'm good and plumbing. Plumbing would also be very nice. Um, I'm in a wheelchair because I was able to walk. The, the, the most painful thing is getting into the car and getting out of the car because the way I have to hop up into the, the SUV, right? So I was able to walk up the ramp. I walked slowly, but I walked kind of dragging my leg. <laughs> um, but then there was like this weird emergency. We're in the clinic and we, you know, there was a, um, a really like tragic emergency. I won't go into it, but somebody had a tragic emergency. And so the, the doctor that was there um, that we, we had, you know, usually it's in and out. But I needed to get, um, I needed to follow up and they wanted to follow up how my pain was and uh, if I need more injections and stuff like that. So I basically uh, reached my limit with, with standing. And as you can see, I'm very uncomfortable. I have to kind of like lift myself because if I sit fully on my bum, on my backside, it, the pain shoots up. So um, I'm kind of like in this position and we're there for about another 30 minutes. And, you know, they had to, we had to go to another doctor at the other end of the clinic um, who was taking over for the patients of, of this one doctor who was called to the emergency. So, um, yeah, so I had to, you know, well, I just sat in the wheelchair and Salah went in and talked to the doctor and in and out, you know. Um, <laughs> so things are a bit different here. It's not by like, imagine you're at a clinic, right? You don't just go up to somebody and say like, you know, like they, they kind of talk amongst themselves, the people waiting. And if like your problem is just you need a prescription, they'll let you go. Like the people are so nice here. They're like, oh, go ahead. You know, like <laughs> it's so different here. So then you go to the nursing station, which is always right next door, kind of. It's like in the same building. And I got an injection. Um, I still don't know, really know what it is, but it's basically the strongest painkiller they have uh, for injection. Which I would be asking a lot of questions like, um, by the way, like, what is this? Because I feel like if you're in that much pain, you're like, I don't care what it is. It can be gasoline for all I care. As, as long as it helps, fine, go for it. But yeah, I would be asking a lot of questions like, what is this stuff? Like, what does it do? What, like, How does it correlate with my nerve? Even though for some reason it's also your spine slash slip disc or something. I have no idea like what narrative right now that she's pulling, but like, like what does this do? Like, why are you putting it back there? I, I'm, I'm a question asker. I can't help it injection and it's also vitamins i got an injection for vitamins and i'm guessing for vitamins it's b12 because are there any other vitamins that they inject i'm not sure it's most definitely it's not i don't know zoe not like 100 percent definite but all of the symptoms are sciatica um you know which they say eventually it should heal on your own after a while if not then it's good to get some imaging done it did this wheelchair squeak <laughs> no but uh ugh. angela it's People usually go to clinic. It's like hospitals and clinics here are kind of like almost the same. <laughs> the healthcare is very different. My brother gave a cortisol injections to the spine. Ah, yeah, like that's yeah, like an epidural. Any nerve pinching can be debilitating. Yeah, it could be a herniated disc. Um, I'm really trying not to get surgery if I don't need to, so I'm just gonna rest for now. You know. <sighs> I mean, honestly, it's still bad, but it's a slightly better. And the fact that it's slightly better, um, gives me hope. <laughs> yeah, I know, arching my back. I know. But if you look at the picture, like, I'm, I feel like, I don't know, like, I have to hold myself up to, like, tolerate the pain. Something is not right. Sciatica, usually, it can be from, it's usually from a herniated or bulged disc, I was told. Um, the pain can go away, like, on its own. So I'm just waiting to see before I go and get all kinds of testing and, like, everything else. I don't know how surgery would be dangerous. I'm not sure. Well, I can't imagine it being, you know, super smooth, especially with her weight. And she would have to, like, lay down if that's the case. I don't know how that would work. But yeah, I'm not a doctor or anything, so I, I don't know about that. I, I have a lot, again, a lot of questions I would like to have answered. I mean, it's not, it's the strongest painkiller, but it's not, I read that like morphine, it's not morphine, but it's probably like a cortisone, I don't know what it is. It, the thing is, is the prescription's written in Arabic, so I can't, I can't really tell, and Salah can't make out the chicken scratch, and I'm, I just don't even bother asking. Okay, I was wondering, like, you know, why doesn't your husband translate? But if it's, like, written by a doctor by hand, it seems to be pretty universal that, like, doctors have really bad handwriting. I don't know why or how or who, but just... <laughs> 
it. Well, I mean, to be fair, I guess I would rather them, you know, be able to diagnose and help people other than, uh, you know, be able to write pretty on like the paper. <laughs> and also on top of that, why doesn't she just ask somebody like, what is it? Like a nurse or the doctor himself or somebody so I can ask, especially since, you know, he speaks Arabic and she doesn't use a translator. It's a lot of options, but uh, okay the nurse because they don't speak english they don't understand me um so they <laughs> I just, understand your i just kind of just don't even care husband i couldn't mute her but yeah you could um have your husband that does speak arabic as uh his native language ask but i guess that's way too simple i'm just like give me whatever i trust the doctor you know yeah i'm trying to lose weight for sure like actually i don't know if i'm trying i try every day to just like make proper decisions i have a whole video coming out after this about like my weigh in and my weight and what I've been eating and stuff like that. I know the majority of Kuwait can speak English, but the clinic we go to, like some of the, some of the clinics, um, the doctors don't really speak English. Like we've had doctors that don't speak a lot of English. Um, the nurses either. Yeah. Okay. Next time I go, I'm going to ask, I'll, I'll try to find out the next time I go. I honestly just don't even really think about it. You know, you'll have to wait and see messy girl. Did we binge the barbecue seeds and pizza, <laughs> the pizza rounds? Stop it. <laughs> the pizza rounds. <laughs> barbecue seeds. Yeah. I, those are so good. Have you thought about coming back home and visiting doctors? No, yeah, you're not rude. Um, but no, I, I don't like, especially now I could never travel that long. 12 hours sitting. I'm pretty sure that had something to do with messing up my back because I remember being on the plane and every so once in a while trying to readjust myself and like the pain in my back was severe then. So which I mean, like, I don't know why you wouldn't think, oh, let me go stretch if this hurts for 12 hours straight of not getting up, not using the bathroom, not walking at all. Ever. Just that still to this day blows my mind. And she thought like, oh, yeah, I'll be fine. I don't know, just like a few hours in the movie theater, and I feel like I have been sitting there for 20 days. I could not function probably after sitting for 17 hours. Oh, no thank you. I don't feel, I don't feel the effect. I still feel, you know, the pain is always there. There's always some kind of pain, but when I'm laying on my side with like a pillow between my legs, it's the most manageable. But standing and sitting, oh no. Ouchie, ouch. A huge, I, I do get a huge needle, but it's like in my hip, like above my, or my, like above my buttocks area. Can you address Gypsy Rose's mother being named Dee Dee? <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> Applebee's, yes. <laughs> I mean, isn't her name Claudine? Make wheelchair vlogs. Actually, I think I'm going to get like a cane. Not a walker, but a cane. Um, yeah, I think so. So I was going to get me one because I think it will be able to, I'll be able to weight bear on it. And that will take some pressure off when I'm walking around the apartment. And I want to grab her because when I drop things on the ground they stay there so i opened the freezer to get some ice and a bunch of pita bread fell out and it stayed there till like that's a lot to get it and what's sad is like she's not even 40 yet she's still 39 she's having these kind of issues at 39 years old I, I, what else do you say to that? That's, I mean, I know this is like an isolated incident allegedly because of like her nerve and like it's hard for her to do stuff. Like I've had um, a pinched nerve in my shoulder or neck or something. I do understand like it is hard, but like I healed up okay. But, um, but if she keeps going on like this and having these kind of issues and she does not get better, well, I think we all kind of know where this is going to go. Will you be dazzle your cane? Maybe. Oh, cool. Yeah, that would be a good idea. <laughs> they already call you penguin from batman with a cane it will get worse <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> oh well oh well just let me eat whatever i want and be morbidly obese and not lose weight and have a myriad of health problems that i caused myself yeah uh -huh. just let them think that's fine i hope Salah's taking care of you oh yeah he really is he's, he's my main support like for everything literally like <laughs> you know also what about your family that you talk to all the time like are they not i mean i know physically he's there i get that portion but like but are they not like checking up on you huh interesting God, i've been jumping around it's just like food medical talk me well you know her and it's a lot of the same subjects and i know it's content no matter how bad it is it's her content but just i really wish that she would get some sort of new <laughs> topics to talk about yeah i sound okay but my injury is not it's in my my back you know i do have a heating pad yeah but i was told that for inflammation on nerves you need to use ice feeding the animals well we share it like right now he's taking care of the cat and I do, I, I see Howie and I, cause Howie is cages up high. Most of the care that Julia needs is on the ground, right? Like bending over to give her food 
Like, if I had to give her the crunchies, they'd be dropped all over the floor, like, with BBJ. Honestly, that's one of the reasons that I did that at one point. Like, it's, it was hard for me at that time to bend all the way to the ground, and the dish was too low. Like, I should have had elevated dishes. Okay, so you would put your cat food on the counter and make the cat that's an elder cat go on the counter because you didn't want to bend down? Yeah, because that makes a lot of sense, sure. Rag on a stick. <laughs> I'd love to have a maid, yeah. Um, you know, some of them cook, and a lot of them cook, like, Indian food, some of them. So <laughs> that would be awesome, imagine. I, how does she go from getting a maid to like, um, yeah, some of them cook Indian food. What? She will make anything and everything about food. I will never understand it. And on top of that, uh, from what I've heard, the maid industry and like that area of the world is not super great. So I don't, I'm just going to press play. Is Julia okay with uh, Harry? No, she does pounce on the cage, yeah. But. I'm sorry, what now? Now we're, you know, pouncing on the cages, even though she's probably still not fixed. Why is she still not fixed, by the way? I have no idea. It's Chantal. Of course she's not fixed. But yeah, I'm not surprised. Um. Oh, well. You kind of like the song? Teamwork, yeah. Oh, yeah, teamwork. You know, we do what we can. But, you know, he's busy too, and he's not very well you know with his health like some like a little bit you know like he needs a procedure too and everything so we do we, we, we will need the help a maid that cooks yes yeah i don't know lexi if he would want me to say what it is so i'll just keep it you know secret for now but yeah so i'm not going to be doing a super late stream tonight like i'm not going to do two hours because i want to finish editing my vlog get my way in and all that out talk about my my weight and that kind of thing i'll wait you know, i'll probably weigh myself i try to remember regularly i just forgot about it and and you know i don't know i haven't really been dieting i've just been Thanks, Teardrop. We're wishing so long, Will. And the second that she said that deflection. I'm like, eating when I'm hungry. And when you're in a lot of pain, it's not the same, you know? Actually, I'm kind of hungry now. Um, then when's the video going up? Well, I just have a bit of editing to do, so after my stream, maybe like an hour later. He's so young to be in bad shape. He's not really in bad shape, like his body's okay, but he's had a lot of, like, problems with- I've already told you guys about that before with his ingrown toenail coming back. It's really stubborn. It's weird. And, um, but nothing, like, super- as someone that's had those before and had to get them surgically fixed, I, oh god. Oh my god. I have had a time and a half and getting those fixed was probably the best decision of my life because those are some of the worst and most painful things I've ever had to, you know, get done before. Ugh, just, they're bad. They are bad. There's nothing wrong with him, like, health-wise, too, is like organs or his body or stuff like that what is fibromyalgia is it like muscle weakness i'm pretty sure it's inflammation of the nerves i think don't quote me on that i'm not a doctor but i'm pretty sure that's what that is i i blow my nose it hurts so i, I don't do it like often and it builds up not to be gross because when i blow it hurts so but it reminds me of when i had my hysterectomy after surgery they put like a tube down your nose and oh my gosh this is disgusting but i swear it's also very interesting i didn't know that like boogers could get so large it was like the size of like an Apple AirPod ca earpod case. I swear, it was weird. I even if I had to listen to that, you guys did too. I'm not even going to apologize for me having to listen to that because I thought it was going to be something juicy. Well, it was something juicy. Let me tell you up. It was nothing. It wasn't anything good. What do you do to keep occupied in bed? <sighs> Just go on my phone or like Salon and I play like games together sometimes. Um, pretty much just like watch things or like edit things like so basically nothing has changed <laughs> good to know make those stupid cartoons how dare you not sound in pain get i know <laughs> which i mean to be fair that is kind of a fair argument of just like you're in such excruciating pain hi allison and you're just so hurting so bad and you you know you've never felt pain like this thanks for the super chat but, right <laughs> she's giggling it's like okay sure you're at like a you know definitely like an eight or nine when it comes to pain sure mm -hmm. why were you constantly flashing the camera back then hi northy scout i don't know i didn't really care like i didn't like have like maybe i don't know i don't want to say not respect for myself but i just didn't care about you know showing myself so i don't know like i said it's very 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 hard for me to get embarrassed you know, especially about my <laughs> my body and stuff. I don't know. I really wish I had that because I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> but I would get so much done during the day if I had half the audacity. Even like a quarter of it, I would get so much done with my life. <laughs> yeah, I just did a lot of dumb things. I didn't care. I felt very comfortable with you guys, even though you're like the internet. <laughs> you know? <laughs>
living your best best life. I am behind on all pa things past. I saw a video and was wondering what happened that you and her girl hate each other so much. Did something happen? Um, oh my gosh, this goes back like so long, Desert Rose. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I, honestly, it's a long, long history, but I basically did nothing to these people, you know, just living my life and, you know, they would like insert themselves or criticize it or be, you know, whatever, just be the nasty selves as always. Because like, hate, hate, hating me is a very lucrative business. <laughs> she was a VIB? I don't remember that. Really, Applebee's? Wow. And then became a weight loss YouTuber and then a reaction channel. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that video where she's like, I'm going to show Amberlynn and Foodie Beauty how to lose weight. Well, I'm still waiting. Spoiler alert, she did not lose any weight. Yeah. Yeah, they sound, they, a lot of them sound angry as hell when they react to me and then say I rage, you know? It's weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm over that whole mentality. And they just, ugh. Yeah, I'm JB, I don't know if you're not listening correctly, but she's one of the most wild people also. I do ignore it, JB, but to say that it doesn't happen is ridiculous. And it's not right. So, you know, people have a right to defend themselves, yeah. People become more and more loony by the day, I know. Yep. She is very trashy and uneducated about everything. Uncultured. Everything. Everything bad. Chantal, feel better soon. Thank you! I don't go to the mosque. Okay, um, that one was actually, you know, not terrible. It was only an hour, even though I skipped the majority of it because I'm not here for, I like, medical talk and my back and my leg and, oh my god, like, it's the same exact thing that we've been hearing for the past, like, four days now. I, I think we're good. I think we're good. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.